Hello! So today I'm going actually to record another video about the same issue, the same product, because I was really upset at the mail when it came. And I'm sorry, I put olive oil all over my things because I tried to open it uh, because it was a little bit hard to open. Um, so yes, I confirmed uh, there is an item missing in the box, but again, the box was full to the brim. There was no space to put anything in it. So um, I that's not Lev Howlam's fault. It's really the box was packed full. There was no space for anything else. So my item that is missing, I already contacted them. I know it's about, it's almost Shabbat, they don't work on Fridays because they're getting ready for Shabbat. So, which I have stuff preparing for Shabbat too, so uh, I need to hurry, but I wanted to make a better video about the, the, the box. I finally opened the olive oil and there's splatter on my box and a few items, but it's okay. So the thing is, I think the reason this doesn't have a specific month and why I've seen people opening this box on YouTube with different months is probably this is the introductory box and I really hope I get the the, um, the box that has the um, prayer book in it soon. I don't know which month is it because it's really confusing because people are getting the boxes at different times because it's all over the world so we never know which box is it. And I really wanted to give more attention to this leaflet. Um, so uh, first off I finally opened um, the olive oil. It is very delightful it's it has a strong tartness to it uh i'm mediterranean i love it i love it most people outside the mediterranean are not use it used to this uh, to real olive oil but you get used to it <laughs> i mean i was born literally eating everything with olive oil so um, this particular kind of olive oil is very reminiscent of my dad's olive oil. It's stronger in flavor than that of my mom's side, uh, but it is um, um, actually less tart than that of... It's not tart, not, the, not as strong as that of my dad's, but it's stronger than the one we produce here. It's stronger than my olives, but it's not as strong as my dad's olives in terms of flavor. So it's intermediate, so it's it's a flavor I'm used to. Um, so I was able to open it, and I spilled a bit of it because the mailman has no consideration for my stuff. So let me get a little bit of it. As you can see, and the best way to taste olive oil is either with a little bit of bread or like a, with a spoon, but I wanted to show the color and the structure. I, I should probably try to make the fridge test, uh, which is essentially if it starts, you put it on the fridge, if it turns white and congeals, it's real olive oil. But from the taste alone, I can tell this is real olive oil. Hang on. The smell. You can smell it. It's quite strong. And um, it has a slight... I don't know how to describe it. It's really good. It's really good, great olive oil. It has a, um, uh, a slight... You know, zest to it that our olive oil here doesn't have, but it has slightly less zest than the olive oil my dad produces. So it's great, amazing olive oil. And the thing is, it's versatile. The olive oil you use, um, this one is great for salads. I would never use this one for cooking for the simple fact that it's too good. 
uh, to cook with. Well, it's not too good to cook with. If you have a lot of it, it's really good. But again, um, this one is great, great for salads. And yes, you can cook with it. But if you have other olive oils to cook, uh, I don't know. This is just so good that I would use it on my salad. And that's what I'm going to do. I will cook with it too. But because I pr we produce our own olive oil. Hang on. Okay, so it was my mom. She lives upstairs. Um, so this is amazing olive oil. It, just from the smell and taste, you can tell it's 100% virgin or olive oil. And it's a good thing. You can trust this box. I had not tried the olive oil, but I tried the olive oil. It's great, amazing olive oil. I think this would never retail for less than 10 euros. A bottle here because it's re it's that good. Um, so Negeho, uh, so this uh, caramel olive oil. There's a little introduction on the leaflet to the producer. It says Karma was founded by Boas Ido from Alon, Samaria. He produces high quality, high quality olive oil from his olive orchard right outside Mishor Adumi. Boz invested a lot of time and effort in restoring the olive orchard that was given up by the previous land manager. Most of the orch orchard was cut down, but Boz had a heart for agriculture and the orchard and replanted the orchard against all odds. He now manages the orchard, its olive oil production, as well as tourist venue for visitors to reenact ancient hospitality and cooking practices. Read more about Boas in the included article. So there's an article about uh, this producer, I think. But I don't think, the thing is, if this is really an introduc introductory box, I don't want to spoil this for you, so um, that's it. Then let's see the honey. I actually opened it because, sorry, um, I broke the seal and you can tell, I tasted it. See this? this it's not going any, anywhere and it's raw honey. Uh, now, while it this honey here, as you can see, this clear color is because they heat the honey before uh, they um, package it. So while it is still 100% honey and it's starting to freeze at the bottom too, uh, you know, turning to a whitish color, while it's still 100% pure honey, there are some properties lost when you heat your honey. Um, so yeah, this is pure and local farmed honey. And when you compare it to this, you can see the difference between heated honey and raw honey. This is exquisite um, honey. The flavor is a bit different from uh, the honey here, but it's amazing. The thing is, every bee has different kinds of honey, and hybrid bees tend to produce the best honey. Portuguese bees are um, a hybrid species. They're a little more uh, sassy, violent, and they produce amazing honey. And I'm inferring that uh, Israeli bees are also hybrids because their honey is very good very very good and i really recommend this uh where's my leaflet so i will read from here H honey by benjamin movshovitz i'm sorry if i mispronounce things i'm portuguese uh we don't have consonants other languages have so sometimes i mispronounce things 
Benjamin Mushwitz uh, established Dimia, an agricultural farm of grapes and beehives, in the early days of Mount Hebron in the renewed Susia community. He and his family was a part of the group which established the region in 1983. After, um, of course, if you know, most of Hebron is under occupation and the indigenous Uh, Jewish population was forced to leave and so they're just now uh, regaining control of the area. So it's very important to support these families, especially in Hebron because Hebron is it's unbelievable how they are attacked constantly. When they go to harvest olives, they are attacked by Palestinians throwing rocks and hurting them. Their um, olive orchards are often damaged by uh, Palestinian activists. You can see BDSers visiting their uh, city and insulting in them. You know Ariel Gold? Um, she, uh, there's a, a, a woman in Hebron, Anat Cohen, that is constantly harassed by BDS activists. And the thing you should notice is how all those activist videos start. They always start with the conflict, aggression. You never see the build-up to those conflicts, because what they do is they attack. They start throwing rocks at the Jewish population. They start insulting them and then when they get a reaction they start recording and of course they only publish on YouTube when the conflict has already started. So it's very important to suppose support uh, Jewish families in those specific areas that are more vulnerable and prone to attacks not only from Arab anti-Semites, but also from European NGOs that are just a way of perpetuating, you know, structural and cultural anti-Semitism from Europe. So, and you will see a lot of those organizations are mostly Dutch and uh, Germany and all those areas where Nazism really influenced their culture. Um, so they were encouraged by the Israeli government to settle the barren lands. Benjamin loves the simple and friendly nature of the people. Susia is quiet and peaceful, with a connection to the desert landscape. He hopes you enjoy his pure honey that was made with love and blessings. And um, Actually, uh, I was reading here, it explains why um, heating honey uh, actually reduces the properties of un honey. And I actually knew about it, but uh, yeah. So we also have this kind of honey here, but um, it depends on the producer where, where you can get it. So this is exquisite honey. I really recommend this. Um, high quality honey. So yes, and... Uh, If you get this, you will be able to read on more on it. So then we have our dates. Now these dates are different quality from the dates that I usually get. They are Deglet Nur dates. They are a bit drier uh, than uh, the Medjool dates, but they taste really amazing and the thing is they're really natural organic products they support jewish families like these do too if you can't order a box every month uh you can do whatever you can to support israel you know you go on bds websites and you take the list of products they tell you to consume and you boycott those because more likely than not the products they want you to consume are supporting Palestinian Authority and Hamas and other terrorist groups that actually uh, keep the families dependent on them and in, uh, are an incentive to pay for slay. So um, 
again, I'm going to show you this because, okay, these were very well packaged and you get 200 grams, which is only slightly less than this in terms of weight. So I can see this package retailing for about uh, six euros or about eight dollars or something. I'm basing this on the price of these ones. Um, and they are really, they taste really, really amazing. These taste really amazing. Um, as do these, by the way. Um, but uh, I never tried these ones. They're very similar in size to the ones I get from Tunisia. Although I rarely get them because they have sir syrup on them and uh, I don't like things with added um, uh, sweeteners and these are a hundred percent dates there is nothing added to it so um, and you can see These are amazing, really amazing dates. And they have the little kernel in it, so it's really good. I'm not going to I'm not going to put it back because I might share it with other people. So Okay, here's a napkin. I'll finish this up later. And the thing with dates is that dates are so versatile and you can have T dates tasting caramelly and others taste a little more like um, cup cocoa or chocolate, a little mix. Um, dates really have such a wide range of flavor. They are amazing. And make sure you always get Israeli dates. Not only they're the best, they support uh, Jewish families. And uh, they um, help fight anti-Semitism. So you really want to get your hands to Israeli dates. Of course, this is a mystery pack, so I'm sure occasionally we will get dates. But if you don't get dates in your Lev Haolan box, make sure that your Medjool dates or your Daglet Nor dates always say Israel when you get them. Um, and the good way to do this is you go to BDS websites that are full packed of lies. You ignore all their lies, but you take their boycott list and turn it into a shopping list. You're welcome. <laughs> um, that's the best suggestion I have to give you. So the dates by Mendel uh, it was founded in 2002 by Itzhak Roth and Dodi Spector. Mandel produces granola, Muesli Muesli cereals, and granola snacks in the scenic Golan Heights. In their Bnei Yehuda factory, Mandel creates every product in small batches with no added oil or preservatives. These dates were produced and packaged by the Spectre family in the Jordan Valley. Now, another thing, uh, Golan Heights is yet another region that was under occupation. For um, context, the Golan Heights always had a Jewish presence. And contrary to popular belief, the, the Golan Heights were actually attributed to uh, the British mandate for the Jewish state. They were supposed to be part of Israel, but the French and the British stole Golan Heights from the Jews and gave it to Syria because, of course, their oil interests and their corruption. But Golan Heights was a Jewish region. And Israel got back that area after the Six Day War and freed it and regained control over it. And 
Another thing that you should know is that Druze, who are also indigenous to the Golan Heights, um, actually prefer to be Israeli. So when you hear the Palestinians and Syrians saying that the Golan Heights are occupied, it's actually not correct. The native population, the Druze and the Jews, like to be Israeli. In fact, Druze are, besides Jews, the highest group uh, of voluntaries for IDF. Because, uh, if you don't know, IDF um, and service is mandatory for all Jews, and other groups are, have uh, optional service. So every Muslim you see in IDF is a voluntary. Uh, so you can see that it is truly, truly, uh, there's a lot of propaganda against Israel that we must fight. So next, what are we going to see? We get the salt grinder, which is eco-friendly, 42 for below sea level. Uh, this is salt from the Dead Sea, mixed with garlic and black pepper. So, you have a little grinder, then you have the instructions in Hebrew, but you don't really need to understand Hebrew because um, it explains how you get your package open. So, you push this. And then you should be able to grind your spice mix. This is another value product. Now, if you get spices and or these exotic salts, they are uh, at a certain. They always. I think the cheapest you can buy is four euros here. So it's another great product. And now these are gourmet product so they are even more valuable so you can see that in this box you always get more than what you pay for and even if you didn't it didn't it's a political gesture too and it's it's supporting jewish families and uh okay plat platinum garlic and pepper salt by 424 424 bring the world's highest quality salt to your kitchen with a novel twist, combining the natural qualities of the Dead Sea salt with the creative spirit of modern cooking. You are receiving natural salt from the Dead Sea mixed with garlic and black pepper. The salt is produced through a natural process enriched with 21 minerals without chemicals and additives, packaged for use without refining and heating. The flavored salt can be used for flavoring cooked food, salads, and more. This is actually one of my favorite products because I use it a lot. Uh, I'm Mediterranean. We like salt. <laughs> and spices. So then we have the toothpaste. The toothpaste, um, I already opened it. It has, it has kosher, contains dead sea salt, so it's salty. It's not... The usual toothpaste you are uh, used to, but it's actually good to to remove dirt from your um, to teeth. And I think it doesn't have fluoride, so if you are one of those people that are allergic or cannot um, use toothpastes with fluoride, because I know some people are sensitive to it, other people don't consume fluoride because of uh, political ideas or something like that um, so it's an option for uh, everyone it's uh, very versatile because if you use natural normal toothpaste you will use it anyway and if you're one of those per people that do not use fluoride for whatever reason for health reasons um, it's a toothpaste that you can use and it's organic, and uh, it says it protects against starter formation. Um, 
so yeah, uh, toothpaste by Masik. This unique natural toothpaste is produced by Masik in the Golan Heights. Another Golan Heights product. Um, the natural ingredients in this toothpaste kill bacteria and fungus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying, this is a uh, natural toothpaste from the Golan Heights. Um, the natural ingredients in this toothpaste kill bacteria and fungus, whiten teeth, and preserve gum health. This toothpaste, toothpaste contains 60%, 65% salts from the Dead Sea, oblifica oil, and other essential oils. The toothpaste has a mild mint flavor and is made of 100% natural ingredients. We look forward to seeing your bright smiles the next time you visit Israel. It's a great, um, it's a great product and I'm really curious about it. Um, so I think that's it for this product. I'm really curious. It's not like you can exactly review toothpaste unless you try it for a few days. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. And... Um, yeah, I, I should put things uh, properly. Uh, next is the olive oil jug by Batya Arjdin. And I already read this here. Um, it's a really lovely, lovely jar. And I, th I can see it going for about 15 euros, like, I don't know, $18 or something. Um, it's really well made. Um, it's handmade, but you can see how well it's done. You know, you're paying for a lot of made in China things. And by the way, you should boycott China. They're killing Uyghurs. And that's another thing. China is doing all that to Uyghurs and nobody says anything. Why? Because there aren't cheers involved. And they only care about doing things against Israel because Jews are involved. And it's funny because they're siding with, siding with terrorists and going against innocent families. I'm sorry, I shouldn't bring politics into this. But again, this is f for me. It's not just wanting these products because of the quality, because they're great products. It is also a gesture of, to me, it's part of supporting what I believe in. So this amazing, lovely oil, olive oil jug that will pair up well with the olive oil was made by Batya Erdstein and you can see the little olive patterns and I know that they also have lovely little, little um, olive dishes and a lot of products done by Batya. She is a great artisan. I've seen a lot of her work on the internet um so really i really look forward to keep getting the her products in the boxes um it's signed and it's about i think it's about a 200 milliliter container i don't know but i think this could easily contain 200 milliliters of olive oil it depends on how thick the ceramic is, but it's an amazing, amazing, amazing little product, and uh, it's um, something that you can keep. So it's really great. Uh, Batya is a mother of five who lives in. Okay, I think when this was made, she still was expecting her sixth child because here, here it says the mother is sick so congratulations on, on the new baby who lives and runs her studio from the community of Itamar in Samaria she teaches workshops for all ages as well as special needs groups she has also opened a gallery of her products in Itamar I could have lived my life in San Diego, California, working as a nurse and making a lot of mo more money. But I believe that being here is our duty as Jews and I'm willing to put my life on the line to live here and to be a part of the return of the Jewish people 
from all the four corners of the world to here and to raise my children here and it's hard work but it's beautiful work and we are very excited to be here I don't know I don't think Patia will ever see this because she's likely a very busy woman but this is indeed beautiful work and the mission we are doing here is really important we need to restore the Jewish people right to self-determination and you know this is amazing you can see how she supports people with disabilities this is just not just about the products these this box is about the lives and how we can impact things for the better so I really recommend supporting this um, and you can see it's very well packaged. I removed the bubble wrap, bubble wrap, but it had a lot of bubble bu bubble wrap. Thankfully, because uh, the mailman was really clumsy and damaged the box. And you can see the olive oil also came dented. And when I opened it, I spilled a lot over the little box. Um, so what's missing yet? The olive oil, the honey, okay. I think only the Negeho revitalizing eye cream and nourishing face cream are missing. Now there is a keychain that I will not be able to show you because I didn't get it. And to be fair, this, ba this box was packed to the brim. I don't think they could have added the, um, the little keychain to it because it's so packed. It ha maybe if they removed some of these packing things, but again, shipping accidents happen. They have a lot of boxes, boxes to fill and all these products are already worth more than you pay for. You sh shipping is really expensive and these products they're worth more even if you paid retail for them. So it's a great, great investment. So, oh gosh, I just love this cream. I really hope they start selling these on the website so that even after your boxes you can get these products again. Because, gosh, this... I still smell like it. <laughs> it's such a strong... Oh, I love this. Negehot Revitalizing Eye Cream, Nourishing and Nourishing Face Cream. This unique cosmetic set is made from honey harvested from flowers located south of Mount Hebron. The set was produced by Baruch and Shimrit Foytwanger, sorry about the name, um, of Negehot. Baruch is second generation beekeeper originally from Gush Katif. He relocated his fam family to Negehot after the disengagement from Gush Katif in 2005. In addition to cosmetics, Baruch and Shemrit produce a variety of honey and honey wine. So this couple was already a victim of displacement to make space for Hamas so it's even more dear to my heart that first off they produced an amazing product I'm really I'm not one of one, a person that usually uses cosmetics I'm not very I'm very natural in that aspect because I don't like tacky things, but this is not tacky. This is great. It has an amazing texture, smells divine, and it has amazing properties that I already described uh, in my previous video. So, this is the Revitalizing Antioxidant Eye Cream. cream. And I could read the Hebrew, but my pronunciation is probably off. So, it contains aloe vera. So I guess that right. Shea, shea butter, sweet almond oil, glycerin, pure raw honey, pomegranate seed oil, 
Evening Primrose Oil, Rose and Hip Oil, Glycerin. Okay, it has glycerin again. Goji Berry, Sonia Lecithin, Soya Lecithin, so it's soy. Essential Oils, Geranium, Lavender, Preservative, and Vitamin 12 and Vitamin E. These are great anti-aging uh, ingredients. And this is 15 mils. Um, I get, you get anti-aging creams that are about this, uh, not this size, I mean this volume, this amount for 20 euros, literally, and some don't have as many anti-aging properties, so you're really getting a good, a good amount of product for your investment and this may look little but since it's only for the eye area it light lasts you quite a, a long time and it's um yeah it's valid for eight months after you open it and uh, you also get a uh, nourishing moisturizing moisturizing face cream for 300 uh, for 30 mils, so it's twice the size of the eye cream, and uh, I don't know, moisturizing cream is a bit cheaper, I think, but as you can see in this product alone, you can, you have somewhere between 30 euros and 40 euros worth of product so this product alone is of the value of the box and i'm going by typical items that you can buy this is organic organic things are really expensive so this is a good value box i really recommend it not only are you helping families in judea and samari that are vulnerable especially because of coronavirus, but you also get great quality natural products that anyone can use. Uh, most of them are kosher certified, so you know that if you're Jewish, you can use them without being afraid of them containing any trace items. They are natural and some of most of them are vegan products uh, actually all of these are vegan so these are products everyone can use um, uh, so this uh, so the no I'm go I'm probably going to read this because uh, the nourishing moisturizing face cream purifies and rejuvenates the skin, infuses moisture and grants your you a radiant, healthy skin. Recommended usage: evening and morning. Gently massage on a massage on a clean face and neck. Uh, revitalizing antioxidant cream enriches and nourishes with moisture, acts to revitalize and tone your skin and prevent wrinkles and laugh, laugh lines. Recommended use gently spread on clean skin using delicate tapping motions under the eyes for optimal absorption. Avoid getting cream in your eyes. Yes, because of the lavender oil. So it's 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 really and uh, it's made out of pure natural honey. Enriches the skin with moisture. Contains antioxidants and has antibacterial cleaning cleansing effects. It's a perfect for it's perfect for any type of skin. Nourishing moisturizers, shea butter, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, and macadamia oil enrich the skin with natural moisture and deep nourishment. A boost of superfood, a unique extract of goji berry, a berry rich in vitamins minerals, antioxidants, and essential amino acids. Goji berry protects the skin from environmental damage and promotes its rejuvenation. Anti-aging. Cold-pressed oils, including pomegranate seeds, rosehip. Yes, rosehip is very, very famous anti-aging anti uh, product. 
Evening Primrose, and Oblithia. These substances contain powerful antioxidants which slow down an aging of cells, rejuvenate the skin, and make it softer and supple. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant that neutralizes free radicals, protects and maintains the skin's, the skin's health. Vitamin C promotes production of collagen, lightens dark spots of pigmentation, granting an even color to the skin. Soothing the body and the mind. Lavender and geranium, etheric oils that enhance, enhance skin quality, soothe the mind and bestow a delicate floral fragrance. Produced at Negeho B Farm, Judea, Israel. Um, and then it repeats the ingredients. It says it's sustainable, it's vegan, 100% natural for all skin times and paraben free. Uh, the Negeho, I already read this on the other video. It's a great product. I really, really recommend this. And uh, hashtag not sponsored. This isn't a, sp a sponsored video. I paid for my box and I paid $40, 40 euros for cu from customs. So I paid almost one and a half times the cost of the box. So I'm really promoting it. Um, they're not sponsoring me in any way. I pay with my money. And uh, even if I got the free box, I would definitely give an accurate review because these are amazing products and I really believe in their mission statement. And go get yours. What are you waiting? It's almost Hanukkah. It's almost the, the holidays. It's really nice to have a nice... Uh, flavor of Israel in your household and if you're Christian and you celebrate Christmas you can use them as the these natural products as Christmas gifts so overall that's what I had to say um, I will contact them about the keychain and I'm certain they have an amazing customer service they help me a lot due to my problem with customs they are the loveliest people and I really 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 recommend you get your own Lev Howland box they are that amazing the box was full there was no space for anything else um, great products great people great mission you can see how these people have help people with disabilities they help people that are vulnerable and this is an amazing box. I think the box that I got was an introductory box. So I think that this is a reason that people are getting different items this month. Um, shipping differences. And um, so, yeah, I am really excited. I really hope they will sell this on their website because I really love the smell. I'm not one for using creams, but... This one is not tacky. It really melts in your skin and it smells so amazing. Um, it smells like what we call alfazema because in Portugal we differentiate between lavender and the stronger kind of lavender. So we call it alfazema. It's so, oh, I love this. My mom would love these. I really wish I, I could get two boxes. Um, so that's it for this video. Shabbat Shalom. I still have to finish preparing for Shabbat. And um, I'll definitely will, you know, um, make more videos about this. I will test the olive oil better. And I'll probably make some recipes using these as another excuse to promote Lev Haolam. And so this is my video. Shabbat Shalom everyone. And uh, I hope you liked the video. I know I was a bit ranty because uh, uh, customs can be really annoying. I mean, paying five or whatever euros for customs is one thing. But paying 40 euros? Really? Uh, it's uh, unbelievable. Anyway, bye. That's it for this video.